guys thank you so much for watching I'm Dr Linda Kramer so I do get a lot of questions about what is ascension or when we ascend what is 5d five dimension not 5g like in Wi-Fi um, phone emissions what is this and how do we get there how do we guarantee our trip to heaven if all this does come into play okay let's start breaking this down because I've been to heaven a lot of other NDEs have also been to heaven so the first thing that we must ensure that we do is let go of the belief systems that we have created on other people's processes and opinions of what they think we require to get into heaven so if you look at the Bible the Quran the, um, all these other religious books out there there are so many criterias if you do this you don't get to heaven if you do this you don't get to heaven I got to heaven a lot of other people get to heaven so is this correct information or is it a theory <laughs> to get us in line to be better people so then we do ascend okay there's a big topic for thought right there because I don't have all the answers so what are your theories on this too please comment below share this with other people who have their own ascension thoughts okay but in my own personal opinion if we try and we strive to be the best version of the good loving vibrational attributes if we try to be things like compassionate kind loving supportive forgiving understanding empathic and sympathetic if we strive and try to be that every day raise our vibrations up the higher we get our vibration so we release all of our negativity now what sort of attributes come into our negativity that's things like jealousies where we compare and judge things like insecurities where we don't have confidence because we don't know who and how powerful we are on the inside we hold on to regrets and grudges from our past we had a guy just here yesterday on the news he is a cyclist he rides his bike and he got hit by a big SUV on the road so guess what he's done he's just been charged in court because as he drives down the roads he's got a key and is scratching all the other big cars on the road he's hanging on to all that grudge that he's acquired because he got hit by a big car instead of looking at himself saying why did I put myself into that position where I got hit so he wants to blame others for what he created himself and this is how we start to take our own self-empowerment this is how we are self accountable and most of all this is how we accept ourselves love ourselves so then we can say okay oops I stuffed up and I'm sorry so self forgiveness is a big one in the ascension process I went through my life review and I know how what we do in that it is all about self forgiveness so these are the topics that I talk about on my channel how to ascend now if you haven't got a copy of my book please get this one five years in heaven is all about my NDE where I went what I saw it's just my version of what I witnessed but the second half is all about how to get rid of our negativity techniques exercises in how to raise our vibration up so you become more angelic on that high vibrational state where we do ascend so 
what other people say to me, well, is this ascension going to be like on one day, like the three days of darkness, the br blue bright lights coming down and we all shoot up in like streams of blue lights into the ether? Oh, I don't believe that's going to happen. I believe that it's happening right now. Look at what's happened over the last three years. All this negativity with mandates, lockdowns, you must do this, you must do that. People have gone to their core. They've looked within themselves and a lot of people have become angry because they live in a lower vibrational state. But look at the people who have said, you know what, I'm better than this. I'm going to be understanding. I'm going to start being kind to my strangers, um, to my neighbours and look out for strangers. I'm going to be the one to spread the love in a world full of H-A-N-T-E word. So this is where we are creating the ascension process. We are now going through times where we are proving to ourselves, which ultimately... Do we need a God to judge us? I don't believe so. At the end of the day, we judge ourselves on our own merits, on our own actions and our own reactions of how we dealt with things that other people did. Remember, in my book where I'm talking about the cat, I was a baby. I pulled the cat's tail. I had to judge not only how I did the pulled the cat's tail, but then I became the cat. And I was, had to judge why that child pulled my tail. So it's all about perspective and understanding why people do things. We don't judge. Why? Why did you do that for? We don't say if, because if is a very bad word. If you don't take the bins out, you don't get dessert today. Because that's now a ultimatum which makes us better than the other person that we're talking to. We're belittling someone by saying, hey, if you don't do that, I'm going to control what happens to you. So controlling behaviours is so negative. So that's what I teach, how to let go of being a controller and becoming an allower who just lives their lives peacefully, calmly, loving and being kind to others. So where is this five dimensional place that we go to? Where is heaven? I don't believe heaven is where, but I do believe heaven is what? And I believe heaven is, but I don't believe it's where, because I believe heaven is everything. When we're spiritual, we look within ourselves for our own strength. Strength is energy. God is an energetic being. So how can he be only in one place, 15,000 light years away from our planet? It doesn't seem rational. But when we say five dimension exists in bilocation, look up the word bilocation, but when we say that heaven exists right now everywhere we are, we've just got to tap into that frequency to obtain it. So where is heaven? I believe heaven is anything and everything, no exceptions. And when do we ascend? And who will ascend? I believe that we're all here for our own life lessons. We are all here. I don't believe this is our first life because we've had many, many, could have been millions and billions of past lives, which also could be future lives because time does not exist. But at the end of the day, if we are truly trying to better ourselves, we go to heaven. Remember, I speak to ghosts. The ghost of Shelley stayed in my house for five days because she was, or three days, I should say, sorry, because she was stuck because she didn't know she died. But when we look at who she truly was, was she a bad person who went to hell? No, because I've, I've read a lot of 
examples and testimonies of people's experiences when they do go to hell. And it's always based on when they hold on to their negativity within them. So who's going to ascend is those who are vibrating at that higher frequency. Stick around. Contact me. My email's below. Book a session with me if you want, because I'll train you how to do this. Read my books and do the exercises. Watch my videos that are free. Because the more you invest in you, the more I will also invest in you. The more you try, the prouder I am of you. And that makes my life worthwhile. So I hope I've answered your question today. Please comment below. Share this to other people if you like. Please subscribe if you're new. And I love yous all wherever you are. Have a great afternoon, good evening or good night. Talk to, talk to you all soon. Bye.